Hello, I am Lacey Ayer. Today we will be exploring Keynote. It is a digital tool used to create presentations. It is made for the iWork Suites products such as Mac, iPads, and iPhones. This tool allows teachers and students to build, collaborate, share, and export your presentations easily. Here's how to get started with Keynote through the use of an iPad. First, look for the Keynote app. It is a blue background app with a white podium stand. On the home screen of Keynote, you will need to create a presentation. What you will notice on the home screen of Keynote is all your previous presentations will save for you to use later. In order to start a new presentation, click the plus sign at the top to create a new from scratch template. Notice when you click the plus sign, you can choose to start with a theme that is already generated by the app, or you can click start an outline to begin from scratch. Keynote offers a great selection of themes. So today we're gonna start with a theme. Choose what best fits your needs for your pre-made formats for this presentation. Once you choose a theme, you can get started building. At the top of the toolbar, you will notice a play button, which allows you to present your project. The paintbrush feature allows you to change your layout of your presentation if you do not like the one you are working on. It also gives you the option to manipulate your backgrounds of the slide. You can also add a slide number to the bottom of your presentation in order to know how many slide or pages you have built into your presentation as you create. If you click into the text box, you can you will notice that there will the paintbrush feature will change because here you can change the style of your writing for your paragraphs. You can have you have all the featured options of bold, italicized, underlined. You can even change what your characters look like, whether you want them underlined, red, however you are, um, how, whatever you want when it comes to creating your unique presentation. You can arrange it in different um, ways by flipping it vertically. You can lock it so that it cannot be moved or manipulated later. And again, you can change your style of text with the fill color, adding a border, a shadow, reflection, and lots of other different ideas and options. If I click out of the text box, I can also go to the plus sign at the top, and here I have the option to insert a table. I have the option to insert um, pie graphs or different charts. You can insert shapes, and there are lots of pre-made things for you that you can grab as well. If I click one of those, it allows me to paste it in automatically. I can make it larger or smaller, but these little icons are very neat and they're unique to Keynote itself. If I go back to the plus sign, I also have the option to embed photos or videos from my camera roll that is saved on my iPad. I could take a real life photo at that moment. I can even record audio and embed within my presentation. So this is a great tool for students and teachers to utilize. There is a drawing feature as well down at the bottom if you would like to draw on your app. The way to share and export, you have two options. First, you can hit the person with the plus sign and share by sharing your options with the link or whoever you want to through email. You can also upload it into a different program like Google Classroom or Google Drive. You can also share by clicking on the three little dots. Notice you have your sharing option again or if you want to export it, you can also export it by changing it to a PDF, a PowerPoint, and all the other options that you see. Lastly, the eye allows you to view your presentation in um, the way that you're, the mode of the presenter looking from 
um, an outsider. If you want to go back in and edit, you just click edit. So these are just some quick little getting started tutorials for the keynote presentation. Your presentation is going to be amazing if you use all of the features that are offered to you for free through the keynote app itself. So again, that is how you can use Keynote to help with building presentations that can be easily shared and exported through the iWork suites. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other resources.